the revised HASCOM standard. Now that we have heard from OSHA on why the changes to the HASCOM standard were needed, let's now look at the details of the changes. The HASCOM standard is now aligned with the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, GHS for short. Why is GHS important? Instead of having a variety of different safety data sheets and labels, the hazard warnings will now be the same regardless of who produces it or where it is produced. And, even more importantly, the message is the same regardless of who sees it. The basis for hazard communication has not changed. Chemical manufacturers and importers are required to evaluate the hazards of the chemicals they produce or import and prepare labels and safety data sheets to convey the hazard information to their downstream customers. Since the basis of HASCOM has not changed, then what are the changes to the HASCOM standard? There are four areas we need to be concerned with. First is hazard classification. OSHA has provided specific criteria for how manufacturers and importers classify health and physical hazards of chemicals. The second major change is in how chemicals are labeled. Labels must include a harmonized signal word, pictogram, and a hazard statement for each hazard class and category. Precautionary statements must also be provided. Third area for change, safety data sheets. Safety data sheets will now have a specified 16 section format. The fourth area is information and training. Employers are required to train workers by December 1, 2013 on the new labels, elements, and safety data sheets format to facilitate recognition and understanding. For more details on hazard classification, manufacturers and importers can see Appendix A and Appendix B of Revised Hazard Communication Standard. Appendix A of the new standard OSHA lists health hazards with their associated categories. In Appendix B of the new standard, OSHA lists physical hazards with their associated categories. There are specific criteria for classifying health and physical hazards. Hazard class indicates the nature of the hazard for example, flammability, hazard category is the degree of severity within each hazard class. For example, for the physical hazard flammability, there are four levels of flammability. We will now go into more details on label changes. Labels will require the following elements, pictogram, a symbol plus other graphic elements such as a border, background pattern, or color that is intended to convey specific information about the hazards of a chemical. There are nine pictograms to convey the health, physical, and environmental hazards. Eight of these pictograms are required, the exception being the environmental pictogram as environmental hazards are not within OSHA's jurisdiction. The hazard pictogram and their corresponding hazards are Health hazard symbol, upper body with heart. Health hazards include carcinogen, mutagen, reproductive toxin, respiratory sensitizer, target organ toxicity, and aspiration toxicity. The flame symbol is for flammables and organic peroxide. The exclamation mark is for irritants skin sensitizers, acute toxicity, narcotic effect, respiratory tract irritant, and hazardous to the ozone layer. The gas cylinder symbol represents gases under pressure. The corrosion symbol represents chemicals which causes skin corrosion, burn, and eye damage or corrosive to metals. The exploding bomb symbol represents explosive, self-reactives, and organic peroxide. The flame over circle represents oxidizers. The environment symbol is non-mandatory and represents aquatic toxicity. The skull and crossbone symbol represents acute toxicity, fatal or toxic. Here is a pictogram shown on a label. Signal words, danger or warning, 
will be used to emphasize hazards and indicate the relative level of severity of the hazard assigned to a hazard class and hazard category. Only one signal word corresponding to the class of the most severe hazard should be used on a label. Hazard statements tell what are the health and physical hazards associated with the chemical, for example, fatal if swallowed. Here are the label elements for a flammable chemical with pictogram, signal word, and hazard statement for each category within the hazard class flammability. For category one, the symbol is flame. The signal word is danger. Hazard statement is extremely flammable liquid. Some lower level hazard categories do not use signal words or pictogram as shown for category four. In addition to hazard statements, a precautionary statement is required which tells how to prevent exposure and what to do if exposed. Here is a complete label example with all the label elements. Here is the GHS label example for sulfuric acid. 1. Identity sulfuric acid. 2. Pictogram. Skull and crossbone symbol represents acute toxicity and the corrosion symbol for corrosive chemical. 3. Signal word is danger for sulfuric acid. Hazard statement may be harmful if swallowed, causes severe skin burns and eye damage, fatal if inhaled, harmful to aquatic life. Precautionary statements do not breathe dust, fumes, gas, mist, vapors, or sprays. Wear protective gloves, protective clothing, eye protection, face protection. Wear respiratory protection. If in eyes, rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. In addition to hazard classification and label changes, the HAZCOM standard requires chemical manufacturers, distributors, or importers to provide safety data sheets, formerly known as Material Safety Data Sheets, or MSDS, to communicate the hazard of hazardous chemical products. By June 1, 2015, new SDSs must be in a uniform format and include the section numbers, the headings, and associated information as shown.